both Kawasaki disease and scarlet fever cause elevations in body temperature, adenopathy, strawberry tongue, rash, and desquamation. However, the fever in Kawasaki disease is minimally responsive to NSAIDs and acetaminophen, while the elevated body temperature caused by scarlet fever responds to regular antipyretics. The adenopathy in Kawasaki disease is usually painless, while it is tender in scarlet fever. A variety of different rashes can occur with Kawasaki disease, but the rash of scarlet fever has more consistent findings such as blanching on pressure, fine papillae, and pastial lines. Part of the evaluation for Kawasaki disease is serial echocardiography. In scarlet fever, evidence of streptococcal infection is verified with a rapid antigen test or culture. Treatment for Kawasaki disease includes high-dose aspirin and intravenous immunoglobulins, while scarlet fever is treated with antibiotics that target streptococcus pyogenes. Kawasaki disease can cause aneurysm formation in a variety of locations and depress cardiac contractility. Scarlet fever is associated with immune complications that include rheumatic fever and post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis.